Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Clashmore Kinsale Beg J Club. Today we have an exciting evening in store with the meeting of Clashmore Kinsale Beg and Denier in the 2012 Minor Football Championship Division 2 County Final. It's Monday the 21st of May, it's 7.30 and it's it's the place to be if you're in West Waterford. Now, uh, he, I, my name is Johnny Flavin and I'll be commentating along with Brian Dunn who's here next to me in the commentary box up in the crow's nest and I'll hand you over to Brian to call the two teams. Thanks Jonathan, welcome everybody. Um, Clashmore team lines out tonight as follows. Blake Langford in goals, Ryan O'Sullivan cornerback, Ronan Fitzgerald yep. full back, I'm waiting myself for Damien one. Foley is um, looks to be out. There's a, there's a, he seems to be down with the flu or something. So in his place, Adam Corley is coming in at wing back. So James Murray has moved back to the corner, and Shane Russell has moved to the moved to wing back. Edmund Halloran is on the other wing, and our county star Ty Burke is centre back. In the middle of the park, we've two fine big men: James O'Leary and Michael Kelly. In the forwards, we've got Speed. We've got Paul O'Connor, Donald Scanlon. We've got Robbie Deedy, Sean Daly, Danny O'Neill, and Adam Corley. Um, the Nair team tonight lines out as follows Shane Mullins in goals Lawrence Whelan cornerbacks with Sean Ryan the other corner and Conal Mulcahy full back wing backs are Philip McCarthy Johnny Hannigan and centre back is Tomas Cooney in the middle of the field is a famous a famous name up around Belly McCarthy Dermot Ryan and the other, the other midfielder is David Quinlan in the forwards they've got Dean Power Garrod Horn and Kenneth Brazel in the half forward line and the lethal full forward line of Jack Guyrie, another famous name, Stephen Ryan, as we said before, a famous name, and the danger man, Connor Gleeson, who's going to take fair watching tonight. Back over to you, Jonathan. Now, unfortunately, after Brian introducing him as a famous name, um, Dermot Ryan is out tonight. He broke his leg during the week playing minor hurling. All oh, right. Yeah, but <laughs> um, big crowd here, Brian. It's looking like it's hotting up to be a great evening in the, in the facility. The first ever county final played here on top of the hill. Uh, looking over the village. Looking over the village. The village is behind us here and out in front of us we've a, a glorious sight. The pitch is cut fantastically. Great great uh, thanks to the two lads involved down there. The, the pitch is lined very well. Our clubhouse in the background there as you can see is, is looking fantastic and the crowd is starting to gather and there's great anticipation about this game Jonathan. There's been talks for a few weeks now that, that this team were going to get to the final and um, here they are now and they just have to go one step further and win it. And a good test to the railing around the pitch tonight, Brian, with some of the former greats, Michael Halloran, Roger, Roger Halloran, all these people leaning on the fence, giving it a good test, a good one so over. If it stands the test tonight, I don't think that fence will ever fall. I hope you're right. Now the coin toss is just going on, so we're deciding which way we're going to play. I think Barry is trying to decide which way we're going to play. Today the team managers for Clashmore are Barry Dunn, Patsy Collins and, and Pat O'Sullivan. So um, I, I call them all managers because I think they all have an equal shot of responsibility with this team, Brian. And they've put in huge effort on them all year. I think this team started training early February, could have even been into January, early February anyway. So that's a good few months training. They've been, they've been well drilled. They've got experienced men with them. And... Um, I think we have the team that can do it tonight, Jonathan, to be honest about it. Yeah, uh, in, the, in, the, in the league section of this, there was only a kick of a ball between them. So um, hopefully tonight we'll have a good, tough game, but hopefully we can come out on the right side of it. And which is good for being played here on Clashmore on a Monday, is the Nair have the two suspended players back. So it's in their hand. You have two full string teams, more or less, battling it out. And this should be a survival of the fittest uh, To be honest, Jonathan, I'd be... Uh, of the, uh, I'd prefer to have them, to be honest. I'd prefer to uh, have a rattle off a denier with a full strength team, and, and, and you know, I don't, no team wants to get anything soft, and, and you, like, you like to be beating the best, and, and denier are the best. These are the two best teams in this in this championship, and, and, and both of them are close to full strength tonight, which so it, it's really. Uh, it's, I think it's important that they have their two players for, for Clashmore's sake and for their sake. Totally agree. Now the teams are just lining out, the Clashmore team are in position. The Nair just paused for one last minute photograph and are now making their way to their starting blocks. Handshakes from the two lads. Referee tonight is Shane Reddy of the Medellico Club. Yep. And we're just waiting for the off. He looks both ways to make sure his umpires are ready. Bomber Condon in the background running one line. 
Danny. It's good to see Danny O'Neill togged out there. He was carrying a slight injury coming into the game, but he's after he's after uh, passing a fitness test anyway, and the game is on. The game is off. Michael Kelly is on the ball. He solos and he's moving towards goal already. Passed it off to Adam Curley. Adam plays a cross field in towards, into the corner towards Robbie Deedy. But it's Paul O'Connor is onto it. Paul O'Connor picks. He's on the 21, over the sideline, soloing in towards. He takes a shot. Early shot from distance, looks good, it is good, it's over the bar. Excellent point there from Paul. Good, good cross field uh, pass there from Adam Curley, who's uh, a number 16, a late entry into the team. But a good cross field ball. Robbie was in around there, Paul got to it first, and he turned and cool and calmly slotted it over the bar. One, one point to no score. Now your goalkeeper Shane Mullins gets ready for the kick out. <coughs> He's taking a good long run up anyway. It's going to be a big one. He doesn't disappoint. It's out around the centre of the field. Uprises the smallest man in the pitch, Paul O'Connor. Takes it. Still has it. Plays it back out towards James O'Leary. James O'Leary gives a quick ball in. Lovely ball towards Robbie Deedy in the corner. Robbie Deedy plays it back out to Paul O'Connor. Paul snaps from the exact same spot as two seconds previously. And it's the exact same result. Two points, Paul O'Connor. Super score there from Paul again. Uh, good work from G good ball in from James O'Leary. Robbie Deedy, another young player, another uh, prospect for the future. I've seen Robbie playing a couple of times this year now. What he does very well for the minor team is when he gathers possession, he's always looking to leave it off to the players that are going to uh, coming on to him. And he laid it off very well there to Paul O'Connor. And yet again, a very composed point from Paul. And we just had a quick snap there of the two lovely bottoms in charge of the team, Barry Dunn and Patsy Collins. Now back to the play. We have Tyke Burke on the ball. He pass, hand passes it forward to James O'Leary. Back to Tyke. Tyke Solos. He's running down the left hand side. Over by the stand. He's down into the corner. Still on the ball. Looks up. Kicks from distance. Oh, it's a huge score. Huge score. Huge score from Tyke there. Uh, with years and years now, we've been watching Tyke. Hand passing left and right, kicking left and right. He's a joy to watch and uh, he's making his first raid up the field. I'd say it's the first of many tonight. Um, his first raid up the field and a cool, calm, collected uh, kick over the bar there from Tyburn. Shane Mullins didn't expect to be taking his third kick out this quickly into the contest, Brian. No, he didn't. I'd like to point out there's no wind here tonight, so uh, it should be two even halves. So it's good to get three points on the board early on. James O'Leary up and fists it forward towards Robbie Deedy. Robbie Deedy plays a cross field into the corner towards Danny O'Neill. Danny chases hard, be contesting in the corner, and but he fouls Shane Ryan, and it will be a free out to the Nair. Freeze taken quickly inwards towards Johnny Hannigan. Johnny gets it up with second attempt and wins a free for his efforts. Conceded there by Donny Scanlon. Johnny plays it long out towards midfield. Well contested by David Quinlan. And passes it off Lawrence Whelan and he sends it long. But cut out by Edmund O'Halloran, son of Jack. His mother Mary is busy in the kitchen getting the sandwiches ready for the teams afterwards. I'm sure she's looking out the door as we speak, watching her son in action. The ball is now with Paul O'Connor. He's cutting goalwards. Could this be the first major of the match? Cuts it across. Picked up. Oh, and put wide on the left-hand side by Shane Daly. Fierce and lucky there. It was very, very tight. It looked to be only a couple of inches outside. Great running. Paul took on three men, got past them. Uh, the angle was a little tight, so he decided to pass it out and very unlucky not to get a green flag there. But still, we're, we're showing well. We're, we're, we're started very positively and uh, hopefully they can keep it up. <clears throat> now Shane Mullins with another kick out. Sends it down the stand side. Finally, now they get their hands in the ball. They're struggling there around the middle. Cash more free. Quickly taken. And it's played in by Tyg in towards Robbie Deedy. Robbie knocks it down towards Donny Scanlon. Donny holds onto it. He's trying to break away from his man. Finds a bit of space. Over carries, free out denier, taken quickly. Ball's in forward to Kenneth Brazil. Kenneth plays it forward again towards Gerard Heron. Ball's on the ground, it's sloppy. Tyke Burke gets it up, yes, and Tyke Burke's finding space and getting away. He plays it forward towards team captain James O'Leary. He kicks it out right to Edmund Halloran. Edmund meets a narrow man with a mighty shoulder. Ball's on the ground, it's spinning around. Eventually up it comes through Philip McCarthy. But it's a free in, Brian, is it? It's a, it's a free in. The crowd is gathering nicely. Sean, send a follow. 
We have a sub in. Um, there's a blood sub in there. Come on, Sean, we'll is after getting a little, a little, a little shot in the mouth. Jonathan has just gone down to ten with him there. He should be back up to us here in the box any time now. And Donny's back in one piece, and we're sending him back into the wars. What was the problem, Jonathan? Bit of a bloody nose, Brian. Did you sort it? Good as new. Excellent. People will be giving out about the education system in Ireland, but you're proof of the pudding, Johnny, that it's working. Ah, right. it's proof of the pudding's always in the eating. Now, when I have their first attack, they kick it, but they kick it right and wide. True, isn't it, Brazil? Well played, Tommy Cooney. Come on, Ireland again. Get a score again, Ireland. Ireland settling into the game now, Brian, aren't they? They're settling in. They'd want, to, as I said, the early blitz from Clashmore. Nair will be anxious to get some some score on the board anyway. But the scores will come for the Nair. This 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 is not going to be a walk in the park for Clashmore. This is this is a this is going to be a tight game. Oh, and Blake Langford lines up his first kick out of the evening. Blake, who I have to say has been uh, putting in extra effort outside the training with Declan Hickey um, to improve his goalkeeping. So uh, that just goes to show how how up for this game these young fellas are. Tony Scanlon back on the pitch after me dialing him up. Sends it forward towards Danny O'Neill. And it spins around and it's a sideline ball. I think the, side, the linesman could be wrong here. Is that is that our own Padre Connery? It is our own Padre Connery. I know that backside anywhere, Jonathan. Well, did he, didn't he point it in the wrong direction, offering the sideline ball to the Nair? Hopefully it will be his only mistake. Dolly Scanlon is anxious to get on with it quickly. Gosh, more of a free in here, 43 metres out, about 15 metres to the right of the goal. The stand is looking lovely tonight. That's his pointing, he's, he's chewing away at a pin there. I'd say there won't be much left of it in 60 minutes time, but anyway. He bought the box of 20 big pins in the, in the shop on his way up, yeah. Excellent. Now Paul O'Connor is going to attempt this one off the ground. It's not, not beyond him. We've seen him do it before. He catches it well, but it's going right and it goes wide. It had the distance, yeah. It had the distance, just didn't curl. There's not much grass on the ground out here tonight. The pitch is looking lovely, but it also makes it that little bit more difficult for free takers from the ground to get under the ball. <coughs> oh, and another Nair kick out. Shane Mullins, he, he might vary it this time, go to his left. He does. Sends it out long. Well fielded by Tommy Cooney. Tommy Cooney looking for space and passes it back. Johnny Hannigan on the ball again. Johnny, one of their, their, their fancy players in the half back line, sends it forward to Connor Gleason, who's fouled hard, Brian. Hard by James O'Leary, but this is the danger guy. You have to be cute in football. He was getting up ahead of steam there, and I've no problem with James O'Leary being a little bit cute there. Maybe a little early in the game to be getting a little ticking, but uh, uh, <laughs> James O'Leary will be well known for throwing his weight around, and he certainly did there. Bit of a welcome to the jungle there. Uh, Shane Russell onto the ball for the first time. Gets a nice touch in it to Adam Curley who lays it back to Tyg Burke. Tyg's looking up, looking for options. He's on his own 45. And passes it forwards towards Paul O'Connor. Paul O'Connor is running down by the stand. He's after spinning the ball. Has it gone out over the sideline? Yes, it has. That's going to just, you notice there the minute Paul got the ball, there was two Nair men after him. They know already he's a danger man. Now Norris in the sideline long. Over full back one of his child. Gathered lovely by Shane Russell, another under 16. Hand passed it out to Tyg Burke. Tyg hand passed it across to Edmund Halloran, who plays a clever cross field ball over towards Ronan Fitzgerald. He gives a nice hand pass to Shane Russell. There's, they haven't made any forward ground, but they're moving around nicely. They're keeping Ed, position. Edmund Halloran looking for his option. Sends it forward to James O'Leary. Good hand pass off to Ronan Fitzgerald. Ronan looks up, sends it long. Sends it aimlessly long, unfortunately, and out for a sideline ball. Ronan, as we know, is always very a super full back and always very anxious to get up the field and get, get involved with the forwards. Maybe he should should have played a lower ball that time, but he's always anxious to get forward. The ball is back in play through Adam Curley. To forward to Danny O'Neill. Danny crosses hard. But loses out and it's another Nair sideline ball. Nice to see Danny uh, not showing any ill effects of the injury he was supposed to be carrying coming into the game. Nice to see Paddy Conry pointing the flag the right way. It is also nice. A big long sideline ball. Oh, brilliantly taken by Tyke Burke. Tyke Burke has found a bit of space. He's running forward through the middle of the field. 
looking up all the time, trying to find the man. Sends it forward well into the corner towards Sean Daly. Battling in there for it. Sean Daly battles hard, but it gets away from him. Ball sent, Gary Owen sent out, Paul O'Connor goes up, just missed it by a fingertip. Out to James O'Leary, who tidies up nicely. Sends it back to Edmund Halloran, who sends it forward neatly into the corner towards Robbie Deedy. Robbie plays it forward to Paul O'Connor. Ooh, a bit of a bang in the eye here. Seems to got caught in the eye or the face there somewhere, Jonathan, all right? I, I could be needed here. Okay, you better head away, Flev. No, he's back in his feet. We're all right. Excellent. Excellent. So this Paul, is well within Paul's range now. And he's back in his feet. He's taking it. Excellent. Yes, and he sends it over the bar. That's three points from the exact same position for Paul O'Connor on the night here. And the score is Clashmore 4, Nair 0. St going very well for Clashmore now, Jonathan. They're not, uh, one thing I've noticed around the middle of the park, they're not panicking in possession. They're anxious to pass it around, they're anxious to keep it in hand, and then when, it, when it's on, they'll kick it into the forwards and leave them do the work. But you can see the faces and the selectors there on the sideline, good and angry and up for the match, that's what they you like well to see. well up for this match, but they've put a lot of effort in, Johnny, they're right to be up for it. Oh, the ball is in. Yeah, Johnny Hennigan played it forward there towards Gleeson. He sends it forward, a good rangy ball, but well cut out. Oh, well done. Oh, by James Murray. Well done, Murray. Very well done by James Murray there, and he takes the free himself. Quickly. Plays it up the side. And it's scattered by Paul O'Connor. No, it's, it's messy, it's underground. No, Paul O'Connor comes out with it brilliantly. He runs off up the sideline. He's looking up, he's trying to find space. He sends it forward into the corner of Robbie Deedy. Sean Daly arriving. Well done, Donny. Donny Scanlon battles hard and gets onto it. Donny has it in hand. Donny looks up, shoots from 30 yards, and it's right and wide. Look there. Good good work from Donny though to dispossess the Nile man and that's a feature of Clashmore's play all year long. I've seen him in a couple of the league games, Jonathan, as you did yourself and uh, even against Tremor in the semi-final. They had the game well won and they were still chasing and chasing and hassling and, hassling. and it's a real feature of Clashmore Kinsale Beggs play this year and it, it, it's a great starting point if you have a team, Jonathan, that's willing to, to chase down the opposition so well. Oh definitely so Brian, couldn't agree more. Now another kick out coming from the Nair. Shane sends it long, he's gathered it, it's Gleeson has on it again, he drops back, he's, he's definitely their class act, he finds space for himself, he sends it off to his centre back, Tommy Cooney sends it forward but well cut out by Ryan O'Sullivan, James O'Leary sends it back to Ryan O'Sullivan who's on the run, Ryan fails to gather on this occasion, free to deny her, send forward there, it's messy. Tony Scanlon's battling hard. Tony comes out with it. That's three battles. Tony has come out with the ball and plays it forward to his old schoolmate, Ronan Fitz. Ronan sends it in long and high towards Sean Daly. Sean Daly gathers well and passes it off to Adam Curley. Adam Curley has a pop, but it sends it slightly to the right and wide. Unlucky there from Adam. Good work again from Tony Scanlon. Uh, dispossessing the Nair for third or fourth time in a row. And a good example of that Ronan fits Sally forward you on about Brian. He loves a good Sally, yeah. No, oh, and the ball's back in play. Send out towards Tony Scanlon, he breaks it towards Sean Daly. Sean Daly leaves it back to Tyg Burke. Tyg plays it forward, a good long ball into the hands of Paul O'Connor, into the bread basket. They'd say Paul finds space. Too many steps, I think, or does he have a free in? He does. He has a free in. <coughs> Should be another white flag here, Jonathan. You'd be imagining so, Paul. Paul is after kicking three points already. He's attempting for his fourth here. And sends it safely over the black spot. Interestingly, the evening's so good here in Clashmore that the grandstand isn't even full, Brian. It's not, no, it's a glorious evening and, and people are out in the fresh air. The railing is more popular than the stand. It's nice to see. It is, it is. The summer's coming. Shane Mullins must be getting sick of kickouts at this early stage, but he has another pop at it. Practice makes perfect. Poor kick out. Poor kick out. Down well the middle. Tony Scanlon gets it and up. he's off. He's running straight, running hard, hand passes it off to the right, towards Sean Daly. Sean Daly has a cut. It was a weak shot on this occasion into the bread basket for Shane Mullen. He plays it out to his right and denies her off again. Carried well out there by Philip McCarthy. Philip sends it long, sends it high. 
But there is Ronan Fitz, the big solid physical Cashmore fullback. Breaks it down to Edmund Halloran and Cashmore are back in the attack. Um, unfortunately, Edmund's kick is a small bit off target and we have another Nair sideline ball. There's Niall and, and Niall Buckley and Owen shooting the breeze over there, Jonathan. That's right, Philly McCarthy's going to be taking this one for the Nair. He sends it long, but well caught by James, James O'Leary, team captain tonight. He sends it well forward. Go on, Robbie. It's on to Robbie Deedy. On, Robbie Deedy. Robbie Deedy's unlucky to lose out on that occasion. And the ball's on its way out again through centre back Thomas Coney. He's then passed it over right, and it's moving forward. But well cut out by Shane Russell. Shane shakes off the man, does not afraid to run backwards in, the, in looking for space. Ends up with Ty Burke. Ty is carrying it forward well and safely. Hand passes a tidy into Paul O'Connor. Paul O'Connor puts out a hand, makes with a space for himself. Hand passes into Robbie Deedy. Robbie has a pop. Excellent. And Robbie, on under 16, Robbie Deedy sticks it over the bar. Excellent score there from Clashmore. As you can see, Tyke Burke coming out of defence, Jonathan. And he's he, he could have taken that on a small bit. But he's all, he's very unselfish player, always looking for the free man. He passed it up to Paul O'Connor, who did the very same thing. Knew that Robbie Deedy was in a better position. Turned on Robbie turned onto his right leg and another white flag. Super score there from the And the scoreboard now reads six points, Clashmore. No score yet on the board for denier. And another kick out. He sends it long, he sends it high. Oh, well nice. caught by James O'Leary. Leary, Leary catches well, gets it across to Shane Russell, then moves back, takes it again, sends it off up the right. Adam Curley on it, sends it up again towards Danny O'Neill. Too high. Tony Scanlon's there. Tony gets it up. Is he fouled? No. I think John Scanlon thinks he is being fouled. <coughs> and he is fouled. John Scanlon was right. He sends it quickly across. Oh, lovely oh great turn. turn. Oh, a foot block maybe, but no, they got away with it. Unlucky. Michael Kelly there with the shot. Unlucky. And the Neuer, get lucky and clear. Sean Russell sprinting towards this. Beaten in the race by Gleeson. But he taps the ball tightly back inside to his wing forward. Jared uh, Hearn. Jared Hearn looking for space. Sends it across. Why are able to play football when they want playing? Yes, they're starting to open, open them up, open us up a bit now, and they're starting to play it around, they're getting a bit cuter. Yeah. And Edmund Halloran fouling there, but referee Shane Reddy given the advantage. There in comes Michael, Michael Kelly and makes sure this, the, the free is conceded. Michael tackle there now, uh, you wouldn't get that away with that Michael on a rugby field, not to mind the football field. Oh, and Jared Horn was the man being fouled there and he's going to take the free himself. He is, should be the first white flag for the Nair. Oh, oh okay. they could have dropped under the post there, very easy yes, Brian. Very easy, yeah. yeah, but it's a point, it's leaving it six points to one in favour of Cashmore. The breeze is picking up here a bit, as you can see from the flags. And we're 18 minutes into the first half. Blake Lang for getting ready to for his second kick out, Brian, is it? Second, I'd say, yes. And off it goes. Sends it out around midfield, James O'Leary is beaten to it by Johnny Hannigan, who's been very prevalent for the Nair so far. Johnny falls over, maybe given a hand by James to fall over, but James O'Leary ends up with the ball. He's big, he's physical, he makes space, he makes a free. Super stuff there from James O'Leary. I'd say if he was told to bust through the back wall of the stand there, Johnny, he'd probably do it. Nice pair of milking gloves he's wearing too, Brian. Nice pair of milking gloves. Oh, and the ball back to Ty, Ty Burke. Edmund wants it. Ty, oh, it's not a bit stoppy about it, Ty, unlike him. Gives away a free. Gleason looking to play a quickly. Flavor. Gleason wants to take a quick free. Can't find a man to give it to. Now it's off. And look at slow there with the big free. Messi, yeah, again. A bit messy. Yeah, little accident. But it's back in Gleason's hands. He sends it forward. Sends it out to wide on the left. Yeah, and well intercepted by young James Murray. The fastest man in the field. So it is. Uh, and out to another little sprinter. And he's coming. He's yeah. blocked. A great battle, Johnny, you must be said, with Tomás Cooney there. It's going to be a tough physical battle between the two of them for the night is out. Two big lads, Brian, on the edge and, and up for a bit, up for a county minor final. A little bit of history for you. This is the fourth county minor final in a row, Cashmore contesting. A, a feat rarely achieved. They've won two and lost one of the last three. Push it back by Paul O'Connor and it's a free out to the Nair. That's Jack. Guyri, I think, on the ground, the corner forward. Looks like they've brought him out just to try and gain a bit of possession around the middle of the field. Yes, son of Mike Guyri there. He looks okay. To drop a magic water, maybe a bit of magic sponge, and he's off again. 
quarterback is taking it. Yeah, Cooney to take it, Tommy Cooney. He's looking for targets. I think he's going to send it long. He does. Close. Sends it well into the corner. Well gathered there by cornerback playing corner forward, Lawrence Whelan. Plays it forward towards Hearn. Hearn looking for space. Lays it back out to Cleason. Cleason pops from 30 yards and sends it straight over the bar. Great score. Great score, definitely, Cleason. This man has two legs and he's going to take fair watching tonight. And that leaves the score six points to two at the moment. Uh, Lawrence Whelan appears to have moved up into the forward line for the Nair and won that ball there, which set up, which, which set up the point. And a big kick out by Blake Langford. Sends it out well gathered by Edmund Halloran. Passes it back to Ronan Fitz. Ronan nice hand pass out wide to Ryan O'Sullivan. Ryan's moving nicely up the left. Sends a nice ball through the centre towards Donny Scanlon. Who's there? Danny O'Neill came out. Just couldn't gather. Donny Scanlon still continuing his battle. And Tommy Cooney gets the free and plays it away. But the ball bounces. Looking for Crashmore. It's back in possession. It's back with Michael Kelly. Uh, down the field. It's hoofed down, yes, exactly. Cooney on the attack, and passes it out wide on the right. Oh, Sent inside you. towards Lawrence again. Lawrence is bulldozed by, by James Murray, who's taking no prisoners in cornerback. Great point there. I don't know, where's this great point jersey, Brian? I'm sure it is a free in. Yeah, Lawrence Whelan playing corner forward there was fouled by J James Murray. Made a little bit of a difference already with his, since he's moved up the field. He has. He's, his change has definitely improved in our... Jack Guyrie seems to have gone to cornerback. And Cooney with the free and Cooney with the, f the point. Six points to three points. Down the score reads Crash more six points, denier three points. They are starting to settle, Jonathan. Suddenly close to one score, Ryan, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. The crowd look anxious. Very. County final day, the nerves are bound to be there. We all have butterflies. I see Matty Lynch down there, Jonathan, the juvenile chairman. And Ty Burke is fouled, but no, he's not. It's a play on. He gets way well, gets the ball to Edmund Haller and full of running. Plays it forward and plays it too far forward. Yeah, James, too much to do. Well cut out. Ball sent in long and high. James Murray battles, spills. Ronan Fitz running backwards. Plays it back to his keeper. Difficult ball for Langford to take. He sends it out into the corner. Good tidy ball. <coughs> ball comes forward and crash more again. Got him in battling. The ball's kind of all over the place. Peace and has on it. He's fouled, it's got to be a free in for the now. He's getting angry. Right thing again there, just stop that man from get, getting any head of steam up, so... Well, you don't want to be giving away that goal and make it a level game at this stage, Brian. No. 23 minutes played. Ball played into the corner there. Back out to Cleason. He's, he's off. He's off. Oh, he's looking for a hole. He's moving towards goal. He moves out wide at the last minute. Takes a good shot of his left, but it goes narrowly wide. Lucky there. This guy's got a good jink, Johnny. He could uh, he could ghost in for a goal very easily uh, by the looks of him. He's got but a I good sidestep. He's a man we're going to see a lot of in the yellow and blue in the future, Brian. I think so, yeah. yeah. <coughs> oh, Blake gets ready for another kick out. Sends it out the middle. Up well by Ty Burke, but he spills it. Breaks to Kenneth Prazel. He plays it forward, but Ryan O'Sullivan cuts it out brilliantly. Sends it out to the right. Over towards Michael Kelly playing in midfield. Michael shakes off his man. He's looking for looking for an option. And eventually gets it away. But well intercepted by an iron corner forward, Stephen Ryan. Is it a free? It's a free. <laughs> James, James leaves it for Michael, who leaves it for Ty. Ty, who's the set piece expert on the senior football team, should be well able to take them in minor grade. Sends it forward to Donny Scanlon. Blocked. He's back on it. He'll have another go. And he gets it away this time. Sends it in high and long. In towards Sean Daly from forward. But it's just too far and it goes harmlessly wide. Someone get to number seven, Someone get to number seven. Jeez, Brian, you sallied over to the far side there for a minute. Free out for the Nair. Gathered again by that man, Gleason. Played forward. Well, well gathered by Kenneth Brazel. Kenneth Brazel trying to 
trying to shake off Shane Russell, but that's not an easy task. It's now with James O'Leary. It's getting messy. Ball breaks to David Quinlan. David Quinlan plays it forward. Intercepted by Ryan Sullivan. Moves to Ryan and back to Ryan up the field. And Cashmore away again. Paul O'Connor battling hard. Played on the ground by Nair. Wing back, Philly McCarthy. Good work there from Shane Russell, the youngest man in the field, and you could see his tackling with one hand. Uh, the referee had to leave a go, and he dispossessed the man and clashed more on the attack again. Edmund Halloran up the left. Edmund will go up and down that side and all night long. And ball played forward by Captain James O'Leary. Bounces away from Danny O'Neill, and unfortunately, it's another wide for Cashmore, who haven't scored in 14 minutes. Four minutes remaining here in the in the first half, and I think the score still reads Cashmore six points, Nair three points. Big kick out there by Shane Mullen. Oh, well, well taken by Paul O'Connor. Quick delivery. Oh, oh the delivery unfortunately finds Connor Mulcahy at full back, and he plays it out along the right wing. It's it's with Philly McCarthy. Who plays it forward towards David Quinlan. David Quinlan's moving out. Tries to play it across, but well intercepted again by James O'Leary. He's on everything today. Played forward to Sean Daly. Sean Daly with an aimless pass, unfortunately. And it's out, it's out again. Leeson has it, Connor Leeson in midfield. Looking up, looking for space. He's moving forward, he's moving well, he's moving freely. Shadowed by James. He plays it forward well. Goal chance. It's coming. Goal chance. Goal chance. Goal chance. Uh, and unfortunately, George. George Aaron sends it wide. I tell you what Jared did now there, Jonathan. He panicked a little bit. Brian, for a man next to me in the commentary box, we're spending a lot of time over there with uh, uh, Club Vice Chairman Declan Wait. Hickey and Club Vice Chairman of the Nair, Tom Ducey. There you are again. I know, Jonathan. I just think it's another handsome young fella that we don't know the name of, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, the ball sent long, sent high, and Edmund Halloran again gathers it. He's growing into this game. He plays it forward up the left, uh, straight into the hands of Paul O'Connor. Paul's busting forward, hop solo, hop solo, and shoots and over the bar. Great score. Super point there. Great point. Anytime Paul can get the ball with a bit of space, he's going to take on that space, Jonathan. And Cashmore needed that. It's been a long time since they scored. Now it's seven points to three. Much more comfortable coming up to the break. Could very easily have dipped in under the post as well, but it's a point. And Denier have taken their point. Kick out quickly, gathered by Donny Scanlon. A lovely hand pass to Donny as he falls. On, Michael, Michael Kelly. On, Michael. Michael Kelly running straight through the middle. Ah. Takes a shot and over the bar. Super, super point there from Michael. Super point. Just dissected the defence and had only one thing in his mind. You could see it 10, 12 steps back from where he took the shot. He, he, he was going to take it and, and he kicked with conviction. And another white flag for Cashman. Son of John Kelly, who's invested big time in getting his youngster to this stage to play in a county minor football final. Heavily involved the Kellys with Clashmore, Kinsel Big GA Club. His uncle is a selector on the, on the intermediate hurling panel. And Danny, Danny had the ball. Danny O'Neill has the ball, plays it forward oh, dangerously. Robbie. It with Robbie Didi. Oh. oh, off the crossbar. Oh my God. Ball breaks out, no Clashmore man there, unfortunately, and it's away with Conor Mulcahy. Very unlucky there, Robbie. Did the, the right thing. Out Connor. to Philly McCarthy. Philly McCarthy is working it out of danger. And a win from a goal chance to a denier on the attack within seconds. Johnny Hannigan on the ball again. Johnny Hannigan has put up a lot of mileage in the first half here for denier. He's still on it. Moves his right over towards Hearn. Go on, Edmund. Hearn's looking for space. Ah, Hearn harsh, gets himself harsh, free. Harsh, harsh, Maybe harsh, Brian, but still a free harsh. into denier. A little bit harsh there for Edmund. The overflow car park here in Clashmore, as you can see, is well full today. Gleason's going to have a pop. He's taking the free taking duties off of Hearn. He's going to have a go himself. He's to steady his ship before half time. Kicks from about 40 yards and sends it in oh. high, oh, dangerously. Oh Ronan Fitz rises highest, plucks it out of the air, Fantastic. and sends it lovely and tidy out to Ty Park who launches another Clashmore attack. Fantastic. And he's called back and we have half time. A great catch there from Ronan towards the end. It was a big we dangerous do. ball. Uh, well fielded by um, well fielded by Ronan. They say white men can't jump, but he proved them wrong there, Jonathan. Half time here in Clashmore Kinsilbeg J Club. The score reads Clashmore eight points, the Nyer three points.
Now when the teams are lining out for the second half, Clashmore forced back out in the field. They're full of energy, full of running, looking forward to hopefully be the first Clashmore team ever to historically pick up a cup on their home turf. Denier are now back out of the dressing room. They're lining up and we're getting ready for the second half. Interestingly, uh, Denier have moved Johnny Hannigan, who was very played very, very well in the first half, Johnny, to midfield now, so he should make, make a big difference there. And it'll be interesting to see what they'll do with, with Conor Gleeson as well. Will they leave him in the forward line? Will they move him out to the half forward line or even possibly midfield? Well, for the last 10 minutes of the first half, he had been operating in centre forward, Brian. Yeah. Oh, James O'Leary gets up highs for the kick out, but it breaks to an Ironman and they're immediately on the attack, but but Clashmore battling hard. Spills so right, right, over towards Brazil. Ken of Brazil running. Does he can does he get a free? He does. He's very oh. Oh, oh, oh we've an injured man down. Gerard Hearn. Yeah, Gerard Hearn is down for the Nair. He looks in pain. Looks like the hip area there, Jonathan. He's been one of their better performers in the he first has. half, Brian. Apart from that uh, that goal chance that he fluffed. Yep. He's well able to get around the field. He is definitely winning plenty of ball and would be a big loss to Denier if he fails to continue. He looks sheepish enough. He'll be okay. He'll walk that off. He, he's willing to take the, take the free even. That was conceded by Edmund Halloran, the, the latest entry into the Clashmore. Hall of Fame from the, the legendary Halloran clan. Dynasty, Johnny, I think you'll call it. I think it is a dynasty. It's a Halloran dynasty. I think that's what they do call it, yep. Tyke Burke battling hard with Gleeson and he pulls him to the ground. It has to be a free in. Morris Condon, Trash Morris, uh, uh, refereeing great over flirting with a few of the ladies on the, on the fence there, Brian. Yeah, good man, Morris. Telling him a few yarns about his a few refereeing stories, no doubt. And maybe even an old motorbiking story or two thrown into boot. Kicking distance here, Johnny. Yeah, it's Gleason standing over Brian. He's about 40 yards out again. It's doable. 30 yards now. He's run up maybe 20 yards. Kicks it well and kicks it over the bar. That's the first score of the second half. And it makes it clash more. Eight points, nigher four points. Burn seems to be under a bit of pressure with his leg. He's trying to walk it off. He's definitely not mo covering ground smoothly anyway, Brian. Langford with the kick. Oh, well intercepted there. Stephen Ryan intercepts and lays it off to Creason quickly. Creason's strong. He's causing Tyg Burke problems at centre forward. And that's something to say, Brian. Any, any man that can cause Tyg Burke problems is a good footballer. But as I said before, this man has a lovely jink, Jonathan. And, and I think Tyg had no option but to grab his jersey there. Oh, I think so. Too. Possibly, yeah. we were lucky even that the referee didn't give advantage there. Yeah, I did. could have been a good result for Clashmore maybe in the circumstances. All right. He's reaching for his pocket. And Tyg gets a yellow card for continuous fouling. Gleason's going to have a pop off this one himself, Brian. It's well inside his radar again. It's in his range, yes. And with his run up, he'll make it even more inside his range. He's after gaining 10 yards there. And sends it lovely, straight over the black spot. Shane Reddy should have been alive to that. He's after, he gained 6, 7 yards there, Jonathan, from where the free was, uh, from where the free was given. It did, but no, not to take from the fact that he is a class act, Brian. Class act. Being cute is part of being a class act, Jonathan. Interestingly, his family only recently moved to the Nair. It's not the Gleason not being a, a typical Nair name. They settled there in the, the last couple of years. Uh, both parents working in the factory there in the middle of the village. Go on, Robbie Didi. Robbie Didi on the ball, sends it forward. Plucked by Donny Scanlon. Sends it back out to Robbie Didi. Robbie sends it back one more to Michael Kelly. Sends it across to Donny Scanlon. Donny looks up, looking for options. Sends it into the corner. Gathered well by Curly. Adam Curley sends it back out. Robbie Deedy. Adam Curley. Across to Robbie Deedy. Back to Adam Curley. Oh, a bit too much messing around there. Too many hand passes. And the ball ends up with, with Russell. But Shane Russell comes out with a free. Sends it quickly forward towards towards Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly shoots from from far out, but it goes right and wide. Interesting there, there Johnny. The Nair are well up for this. You could see how they were hunting Robbie, hunting Adam Curley there in packs. You could indeed, John. It's great to see so many supporters out here today. I just looked over there. I see Michael Halloran enjoying it next to Kira Dower. Possibly a couple to watch in the future, right? Possibly. 
And another big kick out from Denier. Sent out by the stand. Well Juggled by James O'Leary. He finally gets it under control. Gets away from three men. Hop, solo, hop. Looking up, trying to find someone. He's under pressure, no help. And it ends up being last out. And David Quinlan for Denier is away. Go on, go on, Mike. Michael Kelly comes across the tackle. But it's still, it's still on, it's still on the, on the forward. Denier are on the attack. Sends it into the corner. Oh, the, there's a man gone, Brian. Her, young Hearn is definitely in trouble. He's under a bit of pressure, all right, Jonathan. Good work there from Kenneth Brazel. Terrible kick in the end, fair enough, but he he, he, he sallied up the field very well. James Murray does a rugby on it and goes for touch. There's Donald and Billy assessing the game. I don't know, it's going to be an iron line ball. Taken quickly into the centre. Brazel on it. Brazel looking up. And passed it over to the left. They're moving forward nicely now. Good shot from distance, and it's a great score, Brian. Great score. Super score. Well worked this uh, the second half has been kind of nip and tuck since it started. There's been no, it's been well, uh, They had a good chat with the Nair there at half time because they're really after upping their game, Danny. They're well up for this now. It's a two point game at the moment. Eight points to Clash more, six points to the Nair. That's it, John. Horn is... Horn's game. Game is gone. His goose is cooped, Brian. It is indeed. He's speaking holding, of... holding that hip area I was talking about earlier, John. And speaking of gooses being cooked, there's Patsy Collins behind the balls. And the ball sent out long. Gathered by Ty Burke. Sent down the left-hand side to Paul O'Connor. Paul O'Connor is pacey, getting away from his man. Owning a good line. Great line of attack. Heading directly towards goal. Oh, because yes, he gets a free end. Free end, yeah. Good result. Clash more needing this. They need another score just to settle him into the second half, Brian. Just to settle him into it. It should be, it should be a point here from Paul. Bread and, bread and butter stuff for Paul, really. Yes, and he's scoring for him. Paul O'Connor is not going to miss this. And he continues. The crowd go wild. That's leaving the score nine points to six. We're about ten minutes into the second half and things are going nicely here. <coughs> Poor old Shane Mullins must be starting to tire at this stage. It's hard to keep driving balls out. Paul O'Connor's onto it. He breaks it ahead of himself but spills it and it's gone out for a sideline ball. I think poor Paul was running with the ball before it was in his hands there, Jonathan. Agreed, agreed. The sideline ball is taken quickly, well intercepted by Sean Daly, who's after moving out around midfield. Sends it across to James O'Leary. James sends it forward to Edmund Halloran, who loves being on the attack. He makes good ground, but finds it hard to get the ball away. Fidgety sends it into the corner to Robbie Deedy. Robbie. Robbie gathers it well, looks up. He's looking for options, hand passes it tidily out. Back, back to Edmund Halloran. Edmund surely fouled. He is with a free end. Well done. Great work there again from Robbie. As I said uh, earlier on in the game, uh, Robbie has been super all year at gaining possession in, 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 in varying positions and laying it off to men in better positions. And Edmund was fouled there, free here for Paul, which is in a very, very kick kickable position again. Paul's decided to opt to take this one off the ground. Interestingly. He's just 40, inside the 45. Four yards out. Scanlon to the right. right. Tony Scanlon rises highest. Breaks. One Danny. Out comes Danny O'Neill. Danny O'Neill gets it up well. One oh, Danny. sells a lovely dummy. Turns back inside. He's looking for options. He's blown out, but the ball's still alive. Curly onto it. Curly takes a shot. Well saved. And the Nair may just live to fight another day. Well done, Donny. Great pressure there from Donny. It's in a real clash more side. A there. real, real feature of play there tonight. And we have a replay here of the shot. Oh, it was the defender got a leg yeah, to the it. Defender got a leg to it, yeah. yeah. Uh, a feature, as I said, of Donny Scanlon's play, hassling the players and, con and and forcing them to kick it out over the line. Edmund is getting uh, rough and tough with his man. Nair have the ball, Johnny. Yeah, Nair away again. And it's on Gleason. He's he, very deep now. He's very deep. He's trying to do everything. He's doing his best. He's not going to go down without a fight. And we're going to have another clash more booking for this, I think, Brian. Looks that way. Just a little talk of a jersey. Nothing too serious, but I suppose the referee wants to stamp out any messing early on. 
Don't let the game get out of hand. It's Sean Daly and he gets his yellow card. And we're having trouble deciding who will take this, this free kick. I think in the end it's going to be Conor Mulcahy. He sends it out long, gathered by Shane Russell. Shane Russell gets it up, secures it. He's a, he says he fouled. No, right play on his referee. Edmund Allen's onto it. Sends a nice dummy, finds space, plays it forward. And Paul O'Connor's on the ball again. Paul O'Connor moves only in one direction, Brian, towards goal. Yes. Out to Adam Curley. Super. Adam Curley swings the leg at it over the bar. Super stuff there, yeah. If you notice Paul running through Jonathan, um, Adam Curley's men went to Paul because he's so fast and such a threat. And Paul had uh, just popped it to Adam Curley, who was free, and kicked a beautiful point over the bar. Well done, Adam. Another young fella, another young prospect in the club. Leaving the score 10 points to 6 here, approaching midway through the second half. Oh, and an iron kick out. Around his end, Adam Curley battles hard, but beaten to it. Uh, playing it up to left. But it ends up back with Adam Curley, who tracked back well there to win the ball back. Plays it forward to Tony Scanlon. Tony looks up, sends a long rangey ball into the corner towards Danny O'Neill. It beats him down, it goes harmlessly wide. Picking down over there. And now they're getting ready for, to launch another attack from this kick out. They probably would do it as course when going to get to, to get the scoreboard ticking in their favour again after Cashmore responded to the early blitz in the second half with three quick points. Oh, the ball's out around midfield. Sent long by Quinlan. Into the corner. Who was in the corner, Brian? That new man in is Kieran Looney. Minus Sullivan shields him well out down his clash more line well. ball. He used his arse well there now to, 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 to keep the man away from the ball and, 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 and Ryan has the, has the side of him. I think it's safe to say Patsy Collins covering more ground than any one player, Brian. He's everywhere. He's been everywhere tonight, Patsy. Now oh, I'm back on the ball with Johnny Hannigan, who was doing well too, cover, speaking of him in covering ground. Sends it in, but James Murray's there again. Intercepts well, plays it forward towards Sean Daly, but out, out comes Adam Curley, was it? Yeah, and the ball is on the attack again. Sent long, but bad ball intercepted by Tommy Cooney, and he sends it back out. Fantastic. A great one handed catch by Ty Burke. Down over the top of it, fantastic stuff. Looks up, Gleason gets his turn to foul Ty, but it's a play on, and Sean Daly's on the ball. Sends long and low, but bad, bad pass, bit aimless, and it's back with Tommy Cooney again. Tommy Cooney's making a great sally up through the centre. He's fouled 45 metres out. It's going to be a free in. So the referee will be talking to another Clashmore man, I think. That was Edmund. We were lucky there. He's on a yellow, if memory serves me correctly. So we have to be careful now, Edmund Hallorn. Edmund, don't do soft challenges though, Jonathan. No, and it's good to see, Brian. It's a good physical encounter. It's a, it's a man's game played by men. It's going very well at the moment. James O'Leary gathers the free which was taken short and soft. He ends up with Tony Scanlon, he's running hard, sends it forward, great ball forward, into the hands of Paul O'Connor, the man you want to have it, sends a lovely ball into Danny O'Neill, Danny great hand pass back to Paul O'Connor, swings the right hand over the bar. Super stuff there. Well kicked down the field by uh, Tony Scanlon originally, Jonathan, and uh, Paul speed again, and, and great play there with Danny O'Neill to, to, to lay it off to Paul again. So, super stuff. Well uh, even with a super score like that, I could see over the only man not applauding is his father, who's the hardest man in the parish to please. <laughs> Another Nair kick out. It's out towards Adam Curley, sends it forward up the right. Into the corner, oh, Robbie Deedy from oh, an impossible oh. angle. Not impossible for Robbie Deedy. It's over the bar. That's a second score for Robbie Deedy. Well done. A very tight angle, Jonathan. It could have easily slipped in under the post, but uh, we'll take the point now. Uh, Twelve points to six. Some would say an impossible angle, Brian, but a super score. And he, uh, that pleased Patsy as well. The boys are bound to be happy, Jonathan, at this stage. I know the game isn't over, but six points, you know, they're playing well. Now they are struggling to get back into the game, so it's, it's, it's looking very good for Clashmore at the moment. 
Hayden Halloran on the ball again. He launches another attack. He's looking for space. Neo, I'm not sure he knew himself what he was doing there, but he, he definitely managed to land the ball into the hands of the Irish Philly McCarthy. I think Edmund combined a, a, a kick pass and a solo there. <laughs> Something for the training ground, I think, Brian. I think so. Sean Daly batting hard back, but fouls. That's Kenneth Brazel on the ground. Oh, taken quickly. Oh. Now you're looking for a goal. It's there, it's there, about Ronan Fitz. Another foul, it's going to be a free in. A free in, yeah. Not a penalty, Brian, just no, outside just the box. Just outside the box, Ronan, Ronan didn't want him to get past him. Was probably a little aggressive. <laughs> he, uh, he doesn't really agree with the referee, but it's hard for him to argue too, I suppose, but it's a free in anyway. Aggressive, yes. Malicious, no, I would think. No. But he's a nice man and he's free from nice people, Jonathan. Actually, his father is is one of the, the greatest characters in the in the parish. And recent, recently, his sister competed in the Rosa Tralee in the lovely girls contest. So yes. good, good breeding all round. And it's a score for denier, making it seven points to twelve in favour of Ashmore. It's not over, Brian. Five points, plenty of time. It's, this game is still in the melting pot. Still in the melting pot. Anything can happen. Two kicks of a ball and they're back in it. Even a couple of points, you know. Get up, get up. Ball sent out well long. Well done. Well done, Edmund Halloran on the ball. Hand passed it over the heads. Oh, no. Well intercepted by Tommy Cooney. Tommy Cooney's moving forward. He's a good straight runner through the centre. Big strong man. Hand passed it forward to Gleason. Gleason sells a dummy. Finds space. Maybe oversteps it, but he gets his shot away. And it's over the bar. Super point. 12 points to 8. Great stuff there from Conor Gleeson. Uh, showed that jink that he has again and, and kicked with his poor leg. If he has a poor leg, Jonathan, over the bar. Four points in his all now. Great stuff in defence there from Tomas Cooney and made a great line up the field. He did, didn't he, Brian? Yeah. Bit unlucky. Sean Daly was very unlucky because he was away if he had it, but the pass was a bit over him. And another kick out from Cashmore. Out around the centre. Plenty of men climbing tight. Brock climbs highest. Feels he's fouled. Play on, says the ref. And Cashmore away. Michael Kelly on the ball. He's coming up on halfway. He's crossing halfway. He's soloing hard. He's moving well. Edmund Hallon, who's got made many sallies forward in the first half, on the ball again. Plays it across to Shane Russell. Shane Russell gathers it in the second team, wins a free, plays it quickly into the corner towards Adam Curley. Adam Curley looks up, plays it down the right hand side to Danny O'Neill. Danny struggles to keep it in play. Adam Curley comes into it. It's it's a it's a line ball. Bomber has the flag going in all directions. I think it's an iron ball. I couldn't be sure. It is an iron ball. Iron ball. I see John Scanlon over there. I'd say the uh, the, the 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 relief valve is just about to blow now, John. <laughs> And John, John will be well known for, for getting a, a great club man and, and well known for, for getting good and excited and enjoying these games, the underage games very well. So I'm sure he's very vocal over there. He's a major supporter of, major. This, of this team with, with the three Valley boys, as he likes to call them on yeah. it, Roe, Doe and Lear. So he's roaring that as we speak. Yes, indeed. Now it's going to be an iron free out. He can be very proud of his own son there, Jonathan, tonight. He's covered a world of ground. And a man who will be pushing very hard for a senior football yeah, player yeah. before the end of the year, man. No, Kenneth Brazil's on the ball for denier. He's busting forward. He's soloing, he's hopping, he's well, trying to get away from Shane Russell, Russell but that's not an easy task. Heads up with Edmund Halloran. Two wing backs combining, and the ball's coming out for Glashmore. Edmund plays it forward to Robbie Didi. Robbie Didi well, solos, yeah. plays it back to James O'Leary. James O'Leary's under pressure, he's lost the boot. He's still going. He he's solos, flying. the boots fly. The boot makes it further in the ball, but it's away. And Tony Scanlon's back on the ball. He looks up, plays the nice low ball into the corner towards Danny O'Neill. Danny, Danny O'Neill comes out quick in front of his man, gets it up, but it's spilt. Good tackle by the Nair, and away they come. Yeah, free to Nair, and Johnny Hannigan takes it quickly. He plays it forward to Jack Kyrie. Jack Kyrie slips, but gets the ball away. Gets across to Stephen Ryan. Stephen Ryan looking up, back to back to Connor Gleason. Connor Gleason's on the ball. Sells a nice dummy to Tyg, not an easy thing to do. Tyg's not going to go away easy. Tyg holds him up, holds him up. But no, it's a free in. Tyg Burke will have to be careful here, Brian. He'll He's on the yellow card. He'll have to be careful. But yet again, this man is a handful, Johnny, and you don't want him to get away from you and get a, get ahead of steam. So, you know, until he's he's under pressure, you know, Tyg is being kind of cute there now, to be honest with you. Tyg Burke, you're looking like he's using all his experience. I think uh, the referee is giving him one more little ticking in the book, all right, for his efforts. And Gleason stands over this. It's a long way out, Brian. It's long on the 45. Out. It's not far from the sideline. 
I don't think he'll take it on. I don't know now, Jonathan. He'll have a go. He'll have a go. It could drop short. It's that awkward distance. Oh, he's gained a few yards. He's gained a few again. Still going to drop short. It's oh. dangerous though. It's in around the house. Mm, Ronan has Conan it. has it. Gets it up. Gets it away. Tyg Burke waiting for the pass. Sends it out nicely to Paul O'Connor. Back with Tyg. Tyg wraps it in under the oxer. Finds space. Get out of danger. Runs away from his own goal. Carries it out of danger. Up to midfield. Fouled. Clash more out of danger again. Great stuff there from Ronan Fitz in the back to dive down to the water like a salmon nearly. Quick ball is off. Quick ball, ball is off. forward to Paul O'Connor. He runs, runs ah, well, runs the nest, kicks it over the bar, straight in front of the goal. Another great point from Paulo Connor. He's like a greyhound, Johnny. <coughs> He's covering some ground up that ah, left hand side tonight, Brian, he isn't is indeed, he? He is indeed. Score now, Clash more, 13 points, now 8. As I said earlier, great work from Ronan in the back there and well worked out by Ty to win the free and, and, and nice quick play from Clash more again and, and, and Paul finished with a lovely score. And now it's another Nair kick out, but it's, it's bad, it's into the, the hands of Adam Gurley, plays it forward, Sean Daly on it, Sean Daly looking up from an impossible angle, Cross swings it in, in, oh. in towards Robbie Didi, Robbie Didi leaves it to Paul O'Connor, Paul O'Connor swings another boot at it, can he get it over from an impossible no. angle, no, it's falling short, Try. Danny O'Neill tries to keep it alive, fails, it's harmlessly wide, Nair kick out. Unfortunate there, but... Danny did his best to try and keep it in. Nice to see his leg is holding up, Jonathan. And it's a free end to crash more. Scoreboard still reading 13 points to 8. He's going to have a go. He's going to have a go. Neuer will be getting a little worried now if this makes it wide. No, Paul sends uh, an unusual wide today. It's, it's, uh, it's not often he kicks them wide. This game is still in the balance, Brian. It's a five-point game. It's not over, is it?